I did research with Dr. Seals as an undergraduate, and then after I graduated, moved to Seattle and worked at Microsoft for a year. I ended up doing some work, initially part-time and possibly short-term with Dr. Seals, just rejoining his research team, giving me a place to land, and I ended up finding, I once again was compelled by the work, so I stuck around. My time at UK as an undergraduate helped prepare me in a lot of ways. I really liked how many different opportunities there were at a large university, so I was able to find all these ways to make the experience feel small to me and personal. So I knew early on I wanted to apply computer science to something. I didn't know what yet, and that gave me an opportunity to think about that and start thinking about those questions. Dr. Seals' lab has been amazing. He's spent 20 years building research partnerships across the world, so we have amazing opportunities, and I've been really fortunate as a graduate student to work with the Institut de France and the National Library in Naples and go to Oxford and all these amazing places. I mean, to have access to that sort of material and those people has been amazing. My work as a researcher on the Digital Restoration Initiative has been as a computer scientist. My role is to try to develop technical methods that help us essentially read more of these materials and uncover uh, more of these texts. I got really captured by the Herculaneum scrolls and so I spend a lot of time working on those in particular. What that often means is writing software or algorithms that process basically X-ray CT images of scrolls where I'm trying to make text show up and to virtually unwrap them. The Herculaneum scrolls in particular are basically the most challenging they could be in every way, technically. It's kind of amazing that this is even maybe possible. I've had the opportunity to be the first person to see some text that's been hidden for, in the case of these scrolls, 2,000 years. A human hand wrote this uh, at least that long ago, and no one has seen it since then. And then I see it either sitting at my desk or in one instance on my couch at home. It shows up, you know, I look at the results of one of my experiments, and there it is. So far, two Greek characters. It's the first two that we've gotten after many years of working on this research problem. And actually they look like the letters H-I in English. It looks like it says hi. It's written in Greek, so it's not, it doesn't literally say hi. But visually it looks like it says hi, which I think is hilarious that, uh, you know, we've worked on this for so long and that's the first message we get is uh, someone saying hi from 2000 years ago. The Vesuvius Challenge is a unique opportunity thanks to Nat Friedman, Daniel Gross, and some others who came to us with the idea and they had developed an interest in this work and were interested in helping us accelerate it. We released a lot of our code and methods, so we made those open source and we invited people to build on them and contribute. First of all, to test and sort of reproduce and verify our results, to confirm that our findings are accurate, that there is indeed ink in these CT scans, and then to help us move it forward. It's been amazing for me to be able to work with Dr. Seals and his research team. He's supported me to pursue this research problem pretty openly, which I think is, is hard to do at times. He's allowed me to chase whatever direction I felt I needed to pursue on the technical side, and then he's enabled this work, so he's put a lot of his time and effort over a period of decades to make this work possible at all. He's a, an important personal mentor to me, and yeah, we'll be, we'll be close for a long time. Machine learning generally the last year or two have been hard to believe. The pace has been absurd. Things are moving really quickly. I think we're seeing across the board that a lot more is possible than we thought and that it might happen sooner than we thought. And it's on the threshold of being possible in so many ways that it's kind of a miracle that this is doable and that we all believe this is possible. And then yet yeah, to reveal the text to the world, that would be amazing.